Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Reefy Ron, and today we're going to be going over some builds for Deep Rock Galactic. This time we're going to be taking a look at the Thunderhead Auto Cannon, and I will be describing all of the overclocks that I use and the builds that I use with them. If you haven't seen my previous videos on just how to build the Auto Cannon or a couple ways you can build the Auto Cannon without any overclocks, that will be linked somewhere up above. There will be a, one of those things that drops down that takes you to that playlist, as well as it will be linked at the end of this video too. First up, we have Composite Drums. This gives you 110 more max ammo and knocks half a second off your reload. Your reload is still pretty slow with the Auto Cannon, even with this. And I still don't really reload the auto cannon. I usually just take born ready for it just so that it can reload by itself as I'm switching to my secondary once it's low on ammunition or once it's completely empty. So for this, I almost always go expanded ammo bags on the tier one because having that extra 220 rounds is just so nice with the auto cannon. With this, it's even better. You get an insane amount of bullets back every time that you resupply. Although I find myself not taking this one as much because I don't really find it super useful to the auto cannon since you already have this amazing tier one for tier two i usually go with lighter barrel assembly just so that i can get the rate of fire up faster in tier three i usually go with high velocity rounds just to have more direct damage although sometimes i will switch to loaded rounds just to have more aoe damage in tier four i usually go with shrapnel rounds although the hardened rounds are not bad by any means so pick whichever one you want and then i usually go with the feedback loop which just gives me more damage at the highest rate of fire this is pretty much my standard auto cannon build and i find it works pretty well against everything and it works pretty well on every difficulty especially with this clean overclock our other clean overclock is splintering shells which this gives us more area damage and more aoe you can run this exact same build with it and sometimes i do um, i do switch over to the aoe damage more often with this though this way i have a bit more aoe but it's not necessary either way you'll be doing a high amount of damage with either and you could also switch to any of these in tier two as well because your rate of fire isn't hampered by either of these overclocks whatsoever they're just straight bonuses our first bounce overclock is carpet bomber carpet bomber gives us three more area damage we lose out on seven direct damage but we increase our aoe by 0.6 so now we have a two meter explosion radius for each of our shots, which is really nice. In tier one, I still go with the expanded ammo bags because I find it better than having the double capacity magazine and better than the increased caliber rounds. And once again, I usually keep lighter barrel assembly just to get that rate of fire scaling up faster. That way we can cover the area even better with the carpet bomber. In tier three, this is where I kind of switch things up. If I want more AOE, I'll go with loaded rounds. This gives us 21 damage uh, every time we hit an enemy, but we have more AOE damage. So even if we direct or indirectly hit an enemy, we'll still be doing a lot of damage thanks to our carpet bomb. Sometimes I'll switch over to high velocity rounds though, just to minimize that damage, drop off a little bit for the direct damage. And this way I got decent direct damage as well as decent AOE damage. Either of these I find pretty interchangeable with this loadout. Usually I run high velocity rounds. In tier four, I run shrapnel rounds again. This is for an even larger explosion radius so that it's even more lenient towards what I'm doing. And for the tier five ones, you can really run any of these. Sometimes I'll run the suppressive fire to fear enemies because you have such a large explosion radius. Our next overclock is the combat mobility. Combat mobility cuts our magazine in half, but it does reduce the amount of spread that we get with our gun. It also increases the fire rate that we get. We get a faster fire rate with this, and we also get more movement speed with this. So this is much more mobile. For this one, even though doubling your magazine could take away from the negative that this has, I still go with the expanded ammo bags here because it's so good. It just gives you so much value. And you can really skip just about every other resupply with the auto cannon if you just take this one uh, perk here just because you get so much extra ammo. In tier two, I usually go with the rate of fire upgrade, the second one improved gas system. This is just so that we have a higher maximum rate of fire and a higher minimum rate of fire because we already have a faster growth rate in the fire rate that we don't really need to go with a lighter barrel assembly. We'll build this up pretty much just as fast as if we had it and if not, and this makes it so we can go even higher up. In tier three, you can once again go with the higher uh, rate of fire if you'd like. I have done that before and it works just fine. You could also go with loaded rounds if you want more AOE damage, or you could go with the high velocity rounds if you want just more straight damage. I found that the supercharged feed mechanism is actually like the most fun to use with this because even though you can run through your gun fast, it's not too bad to be just emptying the whole gun into one enemy or multiple enemies and then switching over to your secondary and waiting for born ready to uh, refill your magazine. In tier two, again, you can go with either shrapnel rounds or hardened rounds. I find for this hardened rounds works a little bit better 
And if I'm going damage with this, I also usually take hardened rounds. However, if I'm going with the uh, loaded rounds, then I will go with shrapnel rounds just to have the larger explosion radius. And then in tier five, I usually go with the feedback loop for the most damage. Up next, we have Big Bertha, and this changes your gun quite a bit. This gives you 12 more direct damage. It lowers your overall base spread. It halves your magazine. You lose out on 110 maximum ammo and you lose out on max rate of fire. This is to do very high direct damage to a single target. This works really well on Dreadnought missions. It can work pretty well against things like Praetorians or Oppressors or any target that's moving fairly slow that you want to do a lot of damage to. And there's usually two ways to build this, either to make up for its weaknesses or just to embrace its weaknesses and really buff its strengths. The first way is just mitigating the losses that you get from it. So in tier one, we're gonna go with expanded ammo bags so that we get uh, at least a decent amount of bullets back. We don't get as much value with this build, but we still get quite a bit of value with it. We can then either take the improved gas system to kind of mitigate the top rate of fire, or we can go with lighter barrel assembly so that we can get to that top rate of fire faster. Either way, it works out about the same in my opinion. For tier three, I usually just take more direct damage. That way we can actually hit 30, which is really nice. Then harden rounds so that I can punch through enemies. And then I go with feedback loop to get even more damage out of this. If you want a more damaging build for the auto cannon and you're okay with the losses that you take, then switch over to increased caliber rounds. This way you hit 33 damage, which will also get 10% more damage once you hit the max rate of fire. All right, and then our last overclock is the neurotoxin payload. This one gives you a 50% chance to put poison on enemies whenever you splash damage anywhere near them. You don't need to directly hit an enemy with this. This increases your AOE by a little bit. The poison will do damage over time as well as slow enemies and it marks out enemies very easily to see which ones are poisoned. So you can deal damage to them over time. I really like Neurotoxin Payload. I think it's a little bit underrated. For this one at tier one, I go with expanded ammo bags just so I can have more ammo and apply this effect more. In tier two, you can really pick any of these. Tighter barrel assembly works if you want to be more accurate. Uh, improved gas system works too, as well as light barrel assembly. It's your call as to which one you want. I usually go with light barrel assembly here just because I'm used to it with the other builds. In tier three, I usually go with supercharged feed mechanism because I don't really care about the extra damage that I get from the loaded rounds or from the high velocity rounds. This one is more of a status affecting build and I'm waiting for the poison to kill the enemies over time. Neither of these would be bad choices and I do switch to high caliber rounds every once in a while so that I can hit 20 uh, damage on a breakpoint, which is kind of nice. But even just having the 16 damage on here is good enough to kill any sort of small enemies with the splash damage alone. In tier four, I go with shrapnel rounds. This is just to have a bigger AOE so I can splash poison onto enemies even easier. And then I also go with suppressive fire with this just so that I can fear enemies whenever they start getting close to me. This is pretty much just to protect myself, and the other two honestly don't help me a whole lot. Damage resist can help against enemies that you don't see coming, um, and feedback loop really doesn't give you that much more of a damage bonus because we're trying to kill things with the poison here. So I hope this video kind of helped you out if you're looking for builds with the auto cannon. I'm not saying that any of these builds are the best builds by any means. I'm sure that you can optimize the auto cannon in other ways if you want to do um, a specific job and if you want to hit specific breakpoints these are just the builds that I use on the auto cannon next time we're probably going to be talking about the bulldog heavy revolver and then the burst pistol then we'll move on to one of the other classes so if you'd like to see that and you're new here be sure that you get subscribed that way you get notifications whenever I post any of these videos special thanks to all the members of this channel as well as the patrons over on patreon this list will be updated by the end of the month Thanks everybody who does that. If you would like to be a part of it, there is links in the description where you guys can click on that. Uh, join either of those programs. You get access to early videos as well as a couple other perks. If you guys would like to see my other Deep Rock Galactic build list, be sure to check out this video right over here. This will link you to the playlist of everything. Thanks everybody. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.